Bulldozers are the muscle of the earth, unstoppable, unbending, and often unforgiving. But they've also hidden some of the most dangerous design flaws in heavy machinery history. Behind every roaring engine and steel blade lies a feature that can turn fatal and end lives in seconds. From blind spots that swallow workers whole to controls that fail under pressure, these beasts do not forgive mistakes. Like this dozer that lost control before flipping like a toy in slow motion. 1. Komatsu D355A the Killdozer, that goes rogue. The Komatsu D355A wasn't built to be famous, but it ended up becoming one of the most talked about bulldozers in history. When it rolled out in the 1970s, Komatsu meant business. Huge blade, serious horsepower, the kind of machine you'd expect to see pushing mountains in a quarry, but it was also heavy, sluggish, and not exactly known for finesse. Then came one man who changed its story forever. In June 2004, Marvin Hemeyer, a welder from Colorado, turned his Komatsu D355A bulldozer into a homemade tank. He covered it in layers of steel and concrete, installed cameras so he could see outside, and sealed himself inside. Then he drove through town, flattening 13 buildings, including the town hall, a bank, and local businesses. It was a two-hour rampage that caused over $7 million in damage. Police tried everything – gunfire, explosives, even a SWAT team – but nothing could stop it. The machine finally got stuck, ending the destruction. Then, Hemeyer took his own life inside the cab. By the time the engine died, the town was in ruins. The killdozer proved what operators always feared. Too much power and not enough control can turn a dozer into a demon. Next up, a machine that burns itself out before it even gets started. 2. Caterpillar D10N – The Dozer That Overheats to Death if the Komatsu D355A was famous for brute force, the Caterpillar D10N was known for running itself into the ground, literally. On paper, it's a monster. Roughly 700 horsepower, a reputation for power, and a frame so tough it looked like it could bulldoze a mountain in half. But when crews actually fired it up, the thing cooked itself alive. The early D10N models had severe overheating problems, especially in hot or dusty environments. Operators joked that it could boil coffee faster than it could clear dirt, and that wasn't far off. Some construction sites had to rotate two dozers just to keep one working while the other cooled down. The undercarriage wore out ridiculously fast, the tracks snapped under stress, and the cab design was about as comfortable as sitting in a toaster. The controls were stiff, the air conditioning barely worked, and the transmission failures were frequent enough to keep entire service crews on standby. If you thought that sounds bad, wait till you meet the next one. A dozer so strong it can't even push straight. 3. Fiat Alice HD41 – The powerhouse that can't push – The Fiat Alice HD41 was supposed to be a game-changer. Back when it first rolled out in 1970, under Alice Chalmers, it was marketed as the world's most powerful crawler bulldozer. 524 horsepower, a 12-cylinder Cummins engine, and a 20-foot-wide blade, this thing looked like it could carve out a mountain range. But once operators got it on the job, it didn't take long to realize that all that muscle didn't mean much if the body couldn't handle it. The engine struggled under its own weight, overheating became a regular event, and the hydraulics leaked like a cracked hose. On paper, it could move serious dirt, but in practice, it bogged down in heavy loads and overheated before the shift ended. The undercarriage wore out way too fast, and maintenance was so expensive that companies started replacing them faster than they could repair them. Even when Fiat merged with Alice Chalmers in the mid-70s to form Fiat Alice and rebranded the machine as the HD41B, the problems stuck around. Next up, a so-called mini-dozer that proves small doesn't always mean smart. Four. Terex TC-16, the mini-dozer that can't dig. When Terex introduced the TC-16, it was supposed to be the compact hero of tight spaces, a small, efficient dozer that could slip into places big machines couldn't reach. But anyone who's actually sat in one will tell you it's more headache than help. The TC-16 packed just 18 horsepower, which sounds fine until you realize that's barely enough to power a lawn tractor. It crawled through jobs like it was running on borrowed energy, constantly struggling to lift dig or push anything heavier than gravel. The undercarriage felt flimsy from the start, rattling under load, and the hydraulics were notorious for leaking. Operators complained that the T-16 would lose power whenever they curled the bucket or moved the tracks, sometimes both. That's not just annoying, that's a death sentence for a machine built to multitask. It wasn't built for endurance either, the metal components wore out quickly, and replacement parts were expensive enough to make you wish you'd just rented something better. And speaking of impossible, the next one is a heavyweight that eats more fuel than it moves. 5. Bucyrus RH400 – The Fuel-Guzzling Giant That Fails 
The Bucyrus RH-400 was supposed to be the king of excavators, a 1,000-ton monster with twin 16-cylinder engines and more power than most aircraft. When it hit the mining scene in the late 1990s, crews were in awe. Standing beside it felt like standing next to a building, but it didn't take long for that admiration to turn into regret. Those same two engines that looked so impressive also guzzled fuel like crazy, thousands of gallons a day, sometimes more. You could almost watch the fuel gauge drop as it worked. And then came the real nightmare, hydraulics. The RH-400's hydraulic system was the weak link, constantly leaking and losing pressure until the whole thing ground to a halt mid-job. Mechanics had to crawl inside its guts just to patch it together again, add in delicate electronics that shorted out under vibration, and you've got a machine that broke down more than it dug. Operators hated running it. They joked that the RH-400 was the only excavator that worked best when it wasn't moving. And as bad as that sounds, there's another one that was built to work non-stop but failed six. Six, Case 580L, the backhoe that breaks itself. When Case rolled out the 580L, it was marketed as a do-it-all backhoe loader, a machine for farmers, builders, and anyone who needed reliability on a budget. At first glance, it looked solid. It had a strong frame, decent power, and the familiar case badge that used to mean trust it anywhere. But reality hit fast. The 580L's transmission was a disaster waiting to happen. It would slip, grind, or flat out lock up mid-shift, leaving operators stuck halfway through a job. Even when the gears did engage, the hydraulics couldn't be trusted. Fluid leaked constantly, sometimes visibly pooling beneath the machine after just a few hours of use. With every leak came weaker lifts and drooping buckets, forcing workers to shut down and fix the same problems again and again. And if that wasn't bad enough, the loader frame was known to crack under heavy loads, making every big task a gamble. The electrical system was another comedy of errors, flickering lights, dead gauges, and controls that worked when they felt like it. Some operators said the 580L spent more time on the trailer going to the repair shop than on the job site itself, because nothing ruins a workday faster than a workhorse that gives up before lunch. 7. Komatsu WA-1200-3 – The Loader Too Big to Handle The Komatsu WA-1200-3 was supposed to be the definition of industrial power, a wheel loader so massive it could scoop up a dump truck's worth of material in one bite. And yeah, it looked impressive sitting on a job site, towering over everything else like some kind of mechanical dinosaur. But the minute operators actually started using it, things went downhill fast. First off, it guzzled fuel at a rate that made even mining companies wince. Its tank held over a thousand gallons, but that didn't last long. You could burn through it before the end of a long shift. Then came the hydraulic mess. The system was so complex that it broke down constantly, leaving operators staring at warning lights more often than at dirt. When it did move, it handled like a boat on land, huge turning radius, sluggish steering, and absolutely no grace in tight spaces. On top of that, the tires were insanely expensive and wore down fast under all that weight. And if that sounds bad, the next one manages to trip over itself every single time it moves. 8. JCB 3C – The Excavator That Can't Stay Standing The JCB 3C came out in the 1970s with a bold claim. It was going to change how small excavation jobs were done. But what it actually did was frustrate an entire generation of operators. The hydraulics were a disaster from day one. Leaks, pressure drops, and random failures were part of its daily routine. You'd be halfway through a dig, and suddenly the arm would lose all power, leaving the bucket stuck mid-air like it just gave up. And that wasn't the only problem. The undercarriage was so poorly designed that the 3C constantly got itself stuck in soft ground, even when lighter machines around it worked fine. The clutch barely disengaged, shifting gears was a gamble, and the steering felt like wrestling a bull. Add to that a cramped, noisy cabin with barely any insulation, and you had an excavator that punished anyone unlucky enough to sit inside it for long hours. Our next pick proves that even legendary brands can build a machine that burns out. 9. Caterpillar 416E – The Backhoe That Burns Out Fast You'd think a company like Caterpillar would never miss the mark on a backhoe. After all, this is the brand that practically built its name on reliability. But the 416E turned out to be the kind of machine that gives even loyal cat operators second thoughts. On paper, it looked like a solid mid-size backhoe, tough, simple, and ready for any site. In practice, it overheated so often that many owners kept spare coolant jugs in the cab like first aid kits. Its six-cylinder 354C engine couldn't handle long shifts in high heat, and once the temperature climbed, performance dropped like a rock. Hydraulics were another mess, failing under load and leaving the boom limp mid-job. Then came the shuttle shift transmission, which felt like it was permanently stuck in slow motion. 
you'd hit reverse and it'd think about it for five seconds before actually moving. Our next pick proves you can build something 10 times bigger and still make it 10 times worse. 10. Terex 3319 Titan, the monster truck that eats money. The Terex 3319 Titan wasn't just a haul truck, it was a rolling monument to overconfidence. Built in the early 1970s, it was the largest truck in the world, tipping the scales at 260 tons. Just one look at it could make anyone feel small, but its size was the least of its problems. It guzzled 70 gallons of fuel an hour and needed its own budget just for refueling. The transmission and brakes couldn't keep up with its bulk, turning every descent into a gamble and every stop into a prayer. The tires alone cost up to $100,000 per set and wore out faster than anyone expected. For mining companies already bleeding money, that made it a financial nightmare. Its size also made it a logistical disaster, too tall for most sites, too wide for most roads, and nearly impossible to maneuver in tight areas. Terex only built one, and for good reason. It spent more time down for maintenance than it ever did hauling loads. Next up, this dozer managed to fall apart all on their own. 11. Nortrack NB3500 – The Dozer That Falls Apart Daily The Nortrack NB3500 looked like a great deal when it first showed up in Northern Tool catalogs back in the 1990s. A small, affordable bulldozer with free shipping? For hobby farmers and homeowners, it sounded like a dream. But that dream turned into a nightmare real quick. The NB3500 was built in China and shipped to the US as a budget dozer, but what customers got was a fragile, unpredictable mess. Its 30-horsepower Perkins diesel engine might have been decent, but the rest of the machine couldn't handle even light-duty work. The transmission locked up constantly, forcing operators to kill the engine just to free the gears. The electrical system shorted out at random, leaving the ignition dead or the lights flickering like a haunted house. And then there were the tracks, the biggest joke of all. They'd fall off mid-operation, sometimes twice in one afternoon. You'd spend more time putting them back on than actually pushing dirt. Even small landscaping jobs became all-day frustrations. Parts were hard to find, and customer support was practically non-existent. But while this one collapsed under its own poor design, the next machine failed for an entirely different reason. 12. Double Dude – The Twin Dozer That Can't Turn The Double Dude was one of those ideas that sounded brilliant after a few too many late nights at the design table. In the mid-1970s, Russell & Sons Construction decided to take two Caterpillar D9H bulldozers and fuse them together side by side. The result? A 48-foot-long double-engine monstrosity designed to push more material than anything on Earth. And to be fair, it did. During tests, the Double Dude could move over 14,000 cubic yards of overburden per hour, an insane number for the time. But then, reality set in. It couldn't steer at all. With two engines and a massive Balderson blade angled across its front, the machine moved like a stubborn freight train. The turning radius was so wide that it was useless anywhere except open mining fields. Even then, trying to align it for precision work was nearly impossible. And with twice the parts, twice the hydraulics, and twice the maintenance, it broke down twice as often. When one engine went, the whole operation stopped. Add in new mining regulations that made it obsolete overnight, and the Double Dude's glory days ended almost as soon as they began. Because as history keeps proving, the next so-called improvement usually comes with a much bigger price tag. 13. Liebherr T2A2B – The Titan That Collapses Under Its Own Weight When Liebherr released the T2A2B, it was hailed as the future of mining. At one point, it even held the title of the world's largest haul truck, and standing next to one was like standing beside a moving apartment block. But for all its size and power, this machine was a logistical nightmare. It could drink up to 65 gallons of diesel per hour, meaning a full tank barely lasted a day. Mines had to assign entire fuel trucks just to keep it running. The T2A2B also had an ego problem. It was simply too big for most sites. Maneuvering it in tight spots was next to impossible, and every turn felt like steering a ship on land. The electronics that were supposed to make it advanced only made it more fragile, with sensors and controls constantly malfunctioning in the dust and heat. To make matters worse, the tires wore out faster than they could be replaced, each one costing more than some smaller machines entirely. Next comes a machine that proves being small but mighty doesn't always hold up. 14. John Deere 350 – The Little Dozer That Can't Keep Up The John Deere 350 was supposed to be the perfect compact crawler, lightweight, agile, and affordable enough for smaller farms and contractors. It had all the charm of a classic deer, simple design, clean lines, and a reputation built on dependability. But as soon as people started putting it to work, cracks began to show. 
The 42-horsepower three-cylinder engine was fine for light grading, but it struggled the moment you gave it a real challenge. Thick clay, rocky soil, or steep slopes. Forget it, the 350 would stall, strain, and eventually sputter out. The transmission was another weak spot, slipping under load or locking up entirely if pushed too hard. Even when it ran well, it was underpowered compared to competitors like the International Harvester TD5. And while it could be fitted with a dozer blade or loader attachment, neither setup worked smoothly. The hydraulics simply couldn't keep up. It was like asking a pony to plow a field meant for a draft horse. Next up is a dump truck that promised strength but ended up dying faster than it could haul. 15. Volvo A25C – The Dumper That Dies on the Job The Volvo A25C was meant to be the reliable middle ground between brute force dumpers and smaller, more nimble haulers. It had the Volvo name, a sleek Scandinavian design, and an articulated frame that was supposed to handle rough terrain with ease. On paper, it sounded perfect. Good balance, solid payload, and comfort for the operator. But out in the field, the A25C had a nasty habit of letting everyone down right when the pressure hit. Its center articulation joint wore out far too quickly, throwing off balance and steering, which made the machine wobble even on level ground. The transmission wasn't much better. Operators complained that gear shifts were jerky and unpredictable, sometimes refusing to engage just when they needed to climb a hill or dump a load. Then there was the hydraulic system, constantly leaking, constantly whining, and constantly leaving puddles wherever it went. The A25C's electrical system joined the failure party too, cutting out headlights and dash displays without warning. Every part of this machine seemed allergic to hard work. You'd see it start a shift strong and end it limping back to the yard with warning lights blinking like a Christmas tree. It was a classic case of a good-looking machine with terrible follow-through, a dumper that didn't dump for long. Which of these dozers do you think is the most badass, despite their flaws? Let us know in the comments below. If you learned something new today, make sure to subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one.